people were asking me, uh, you know, who is the segment of women that uh, is the most advantageous for marketers to know about? And I think they all thought I would say young women, mm -hmm. but I fooled them. Yes. Because I did the research and I did the analysis and it was the primetime women in midlife. Primetime women are different from younger women. The first thing to understand is that women are different from men mm. in some ways that are very important for marketers to recognize mm. because it gives them so many opportunities to connect with their consumer mm. better if they connect with her as a woman. Mm. And then there are things that make primetime women different from younger women. Mm. So when you understand your consumer in depth, that's when you But can you're going really to connect. educate him in a moment. I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of women in the beginning of the fortunes, okay. ready to fight. Okay. The stage is yours. All right. Marty Balletta. Thank you. So this is the main difference. Men prefer to prioritize. And they see doing other things that weren't at the top of the list as in the way. Women, and actually most of us who were taught how to manage our time, were taught that that's the only way to be efficient with life management, right, is to put the important things at the top of the list, first things first, stick to the priorities, but in fact, most women, instead of prioritizing, prefer to maximize, because in women's frame of reference, they can get more done if they bundle things together, and it does make it a little bit less predictable when they'll get the most important things done, but for women, just because it doesn't have to get done right away, doesn't mean it doesn't have to get done eventually. This is a concept that hasn't seemed to make it through to my husband. My husband has his organized list. He has priority A, priority B, and priority C list. And I don't kid you when I say, he has had things on that priority B list for 15 years. 15 years. <laughs> And he's never going to get to them. Why? Because they never make it to the top of the list. But I don't have that luxury. There are things that have to get done, even if they're not the most important thing. So I combine things together. Most beauty category advertising and products are positioned as anti-age. We'll help you fight age. We'll help you fight wrinkles. We'll help you fight this. Those messages are appropriate for younger all right, they're appropriate for women in their 30s, early 40s, etc., who are terrified of getting older because they are, they're afraid of it because we have this cultural convention, this cultural convention that, oh, well, be over the hill soon. It's all downhill from here, you know? And, 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 and so there's a lot of scary mystique about it, but when women actually make it to prime time, they find out, wait a minute, this isn't nearly as bad as I thought it was.